The Airbus A318 is the smallest variant of the popular A320 family. However, it only manufactured 88 planes and started production in 2003. Why did the A318 fail? The A318 was developed from the A320 to fulfill the role of short to medium range passenger haulers. It is the largest commercial aircraft certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency for steep approach operations. The steep approach procedure enables a 5.5 degree descent angle rather than the standard 3 degrees. It means you can operate at an airport like London City Airport. Again, London City. Not that one, it's complicated. The end product became a twin engine, 170 132 seat airliner with a nearby design. The A318 prototype recorded its first fly on January 15, 2002. Only 80 A318s were produced, a far cry from its competitors and larger siblings. A big reason for this was the general decline for air travel in the wake of 9 11. However, there was more reasons. The A318 uses the Pratt and Whitney engines, which have been known to use up more fuel, which became a glaring problem after the increase in jet fuel prices that occurred during the early 2000s. Additionally, the A318 has similar capacity competitors like Bombardier CRJ jets and the Embraer ERJ jets, but it was 50% more expensive and required the same number of crew members as larger A319. Not everything takes off, and this is very evident with the Airbus A318. Farewell, baby bus.